you guys start? I kind of got an adrenaline rush now. <laughs> Well, first of all, I appreciate you guys being here. Um, really appreciate our community coming out tonight uh, to help us kick off SEC play. Um, just want to make sure we acknowledge um, Coach Bracey, um, our support staff, the players that were not here with us tonight. You know, wins like this don't just happen uh, by chance. It's, it's a body of work over time. And there's a lot of people that have really invested a lot uh, from a player standpoint coaching staff, support staff standpoint over the last six months. And so um, even though there's some players that obviously weren't here, they're just as big of a part of this win. We don't do it without them. So just want to acknowledge them again. Thank our community for coming out. Um, recognize Dawn and her program. Uh, she is a tremendous coach, uh, has a tremendous staff, tremendous program. Um, and I have all the respect in the world for her. And uh, I, there's no doubt, right? We all know uh, they're going to go on to do some incredible things this year. Uh, but this was a huge win for us, and, and I couldn't be more proud um, of these eight young ladies. I mean, just the grit, uh, the belief, uh, their ability to lean in for each other, you know, to play through tough possessions, uh, ugly possessions, um, and just to continue to weather weather the storms and different players stepped up at different times and um, just an incredible incredible win. I'm so happy that they get experience this. We talked about this that you know great moments were created by great opportunities and what a storyline this could be with only eight players that could suit up. What an incredible storyline. So what are we going to do with it? Uh, and, and at the end of the day, we want to make sure that uh, we were the tougher team tonight. We want to be the grittier team. Uh, we want to make sure we're first to the floor for 50-50 plays. And we're going to have to live with whatever happened from there. Control what we can control. And, uh, you know, we just tried to keep reminding them because um, I know they were gassed. They played a lot of minutes. But really try to continue to remind them that uh, the, the, their ability to dig deep and push through was so, much, was so important. Um, and, and they would have far more regrets if they didn't let it all hang out because it's right there at our fingertips. And so there's a couple moments, those first few minutes of the second half, I felt like we got away from kind of what we said we were going to do and that, you know, it, it would have been easy to get deflated down five at the beginning of overtime, uh, but they just kept picking each other up. They kept trying to be solution oriented. They kept trying to, you know, be in that next play mentality and, um, this is something that you're going to remember for a long time. So really, really happy for them, for everybody, and, and really appreciative of our community. Robin, obviously a lot of emotion after the game. Can you sum up maybe what, what you were feeling when you guys all ran out of the court together? Yeah, I was just so happy for these guys. I mean, they gave us everything they had. They absolutely emptied their tank. And like I said, I mean, great, great memories are created by creative opportunities, and they, they maximize this. The, I, I said before the game, I said, I don't know how to read the odds in Vegas. I don't know how that all works. But I guarantee you it's 100 to 0, and no one's got us winning this game. Right? I mean, it had to be. Does anybody look at that stuff? Do you guys know? I mean, it had to be. And so, um, you know, we just thought, what the heck? We got nothing to lose. Let's go. Let's let it all hang out. And just super happy for these guys. Um, you know, I wouldn't say the game plan really changed. We, it was too late. I mean, we just found out 24 hours ago that, you know, we were down to eight players. So at that point, um, you know, you, you can't all of a sudden grow a few more inches or, you know, get a little quicker or whatever. So the game plan never really changed. Uh, but the mindset had to. The mindset had to for these guys. And so really tried to shorten up practices uh, a little bit. We didn't do as much as we maybe typically do. And, um, you know, just we had to pivot. And uh, this is what the cards were dealt with. We can't do anything about it. Uh, so let's go play the game and, and uh, let it all hang out and see, see what happens.
Uh, I don't really remember my thoughts in the time. It was just game winning plays, and I knew we needed it. I think same with Lowe. Just had to battle till the very end. And uh, I think what I'm most proud of of this team is we came in and we had belief belief in the eight that we had available, and we didn't stop believing for 45 minutes. And you know that's why we got the result we did. Um, but for me, just. I mean, this is the kind of games that I came to Mizzou for. You know, when I came on visits against, you know, top 10 wins against South Carolina, Tennessee, like those were the environments that just made me want to be a Mizzou Tiger. And so it's just so special to have been through the fire and get to feel what it feels like to come out and win one of these kind of games. Amen. we those fires, girl, <laughs> haven't we? You know, I, I think it's more about body of work, and this is a huge game for us for sure. Um, and how does it not, you know, just boost your confidence and, uh, you know, just morale for sure. Um, but, you know, I mean, big picture, it's it's one game, and there's a lot of games in front of us. This SEC is crazy. I, I say it every year. Um, I don't know that it can get any tougher, and every year it gets a little bit tougher. And so, you know, I think perspective is everything. I think you absolutely, uh, they need to embrace this and celebrate it. Um, but in 24 hours, we've got to ground ourselves and get back to work. Um, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Uh, the season's bigger than one game. And, um, you know, that's going to be really important moving forward. We've got, there's a lot of tough games in front of us. For sure, enjoy this. This is a big one. But uh, it's about body of work in, in March. And uh, we're on a mission. And our mission this year was, it was never about beating South Carolina. It's about being in that NCAA tournament in March. And uh, that's, that's honestly uh, our focus, mission first, team always. Um, to be honest, I really didn't think anything. And then when the ball was hanging on the rim, like I just I didn't even know it was hanging on the rim. I just thought it went in. So I mean, um, just that my team had confidence in me to have the ball at the end of the game. So just like not shy away from the moment, step up to it for them. And so. Yeah, what did you think of the <laughs> <laughs> Two six no. five running at the. <laughs> <laughs> um, the rim. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I'm still in shock, so I have no idea. And then that moment after, I mean, you guys kind of jump into a dog pile. Can you describe the emotions <laughs> that you had in that moment and just what that moment was like for you, just, you know, being in the summer with teammates? Is yeah, I, I totally tackled Frankie. And then, yeah, we tackled each other, and then we just ended up on the ground, and then we were all on the ground, and I didn't even realize, like, and um, we didn't have our mask on. Yeah. <laughs> He still had, and then Mama comes over and picks me up, and she's like, "Hey, we got point one seconds left on the clock. Like, get off." <laughs> so um, it was just really great because we all deserve that moment. We've worked really hard the last six months, so it just was. Um, I just felt like we deserved that that big win. You know what, I'm, I'm so glad they came out to celebrate with us. I really am. Um, there's That's another point of emphasis this year is all of our girls kind of did some research on the jersey that they're wearing, their number, and had to tell us something about, you know, and just spend some time um, helping educate the rest of the team uh, about who wore their jersey before them, you know, just to bring that, uh, that alumni back. And so, you know, it, there's just so much history and so many girls that came in and helped us lay a foundation and that are so invested. And so I love it that they could come out and celebrate that with us. That was really cool. You've touched on the crowd a little bit, but how much of an extra person was this crowd today for you guys? Yeah, you know, honestly, um, when I walked out of the tunnel, um, you know, right before the game started, 
I get a little emotional. I always do on those big nights because um, there's no doubt, you know, there's a lot of things that they could be spending their time doing. And, you know, we didn't know if, if only having eight players would affect, you know, different people coming to the game or not. But, man, they showed up for us. They showed up. And I told these guys I thought they would. I, I had heard a lot of buzz about, um, you know, the, the fans. And I know Lindsay and Sophie did a lot to sell tickets on their end. And, um so it just kind of makes you emotional. You just appreciate them so much. And we want them to feel uh, a part of this because we can't do that without them. And I think that's what makes our fans so special. Haley and Lauren, what was it like, you know, celebrating uh, this in the locker room? Can you kind of take a little bit? It was really fun and really exciting just for the players and the coaches because – I mean, the coaches have put in so much work and just have instilled so much belief in us. And, you know, when things haven't gone well, they kept believing and kept fighting. Uh, and same with um, our my teammates. Uh, there was no quit ever. Uh, we've been through the fire. And so just to, like, freely, like, celebrate being the number one team in the country, it's just an unexplainable feeling. <laughs> Um, this is just a group that I, I wouldn't want to go to battle with anybody else, and including the people that aren't here tonight. So we were just celebrating like for everybody because this doesn't happen overnight. It happens um, over time. And so it was just like it all piled up on us, and we were just able to celebrate together. So it's a lot of fun. Well, I think for her and Troop both, you know, there's probably some emotions and, and they try to act like there's not, but I don't know how there wouldn't be. Um, but really proud of her. We knew we needed her to show up. And, um, you know, she's had limited minutes this year just trying to get back into the flow of things. And uh, I always trying to get her to get a little bit more aggressive. I'm always talking to her about her optimal arousal level and that she's got to figure out a way to get herself going a little bit more. But I thought she really battled tonight. I thought she was in a zone. I thought she really battled. Uh, she didn't back down. Uh, she, she was out of gas there at the end. <laughs> she was trying to fight through, um, but regrouped there and, and got back out there. And just really cool for her. And happy for her. She had a good game. Well, obviously we did all right, um, you know, based on the outcome, but I, these guys are going to be sore. <laughs> I mean, I know they're going to be exhausted. And, um, you know, it's just... We just we, we knew that you know we weren't going to be able to take away everything. We knew they're a great defensive team, great rebounding team. There's so many things about South Carolina that's just elite level, and uh, but we 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 knew we could control what we could control, and that was our grittiness, our toughness, our um, just resiliency. Um, you know, we had to recalibrate when things didn't go our way. We had to refocus. We had to be in a next play mentality and and find solutions. And and we did not want to put ourselves in a position where we had to have calls from the officials like we we wanted to go battle and in our kids did exactly that Yeah. You know, I don't want to put them behind me. I, I think that's where you grow the most, through the adversity. And uh, I think it builds character. And, and it sucks. It's hard. There's a lot of sleepless nights, I think, for players, for coaches. But I also think diamonds are formed in the fires. And, um, you know, so I, as hard as it was, um, I, I think that's part of the growth. That's part of um, – that's part of the process, and it, it sucks, and it's hard, like I said, but I, I don't regret those because I think it sharpened all of us. I think it sharpened our leadership in the locker room. I think it sharpened our players, sharpened us as coaches. You know, the key is, are you willing to look yourself in the mirror and, and be accountable to what you see? And what do you like and what do you not like? And, and, and to take ownership of that. And that's a hard thing to do. It's a really hard thing to do, but I think collectively that's what happened over the last six months, and um, I'm really proud of everybody that's touched our program and their ability to do so. So I don't, I, I, I don't wish that time away. I'm, I'm thankful for it, but I'm also very thankful for the growth that we've had. Uh, 
I, th I just think it was our heart. Like, we never let each other, like, say die. Um, we never, like, gave up. And I think that we were, came into overtime a little bit tired, and I think that we realized, <laughs> like, it's, it's do or die at this point. And so <laughs> I think that we just band, band together. <laughs> and so, yeah. Well, I think that's a huge compliment, um, obviously. And, um, you know, I think with our motion offense, our ability to play four out, five out, you know, it just looks different at times. And um, it, it, I, I think that's just kind of who we are and that's what we do. And that was a big goal going into the game is we didn't need anybody to do anything spectacular. We just needed to stay true to uh, who we are and, and what we do. And, uh, you know, playing with great pace. And, um, and I thought our, our players did a tremendous job with that.